Yesterday, when I got to work, the owner asked me if I could uh, dig a trench to divert some water that was collecting in the yard, um, to outside of the yard, so it would go into the storm drain at the road. And he said, oh, he said, I guess use the backhoe or something. Well, we wanted to make a small trench. We didn't want to make a big trench, and we didn't want to ruin part of the yard, so a backhoe wasn't necessarily the best idea, so I suggested um, there's a Caterpillar mini excavator next door at a gas station that's being built. Uh, we know the guy that's uh, that's one of the contractors, his name's Tom, and we move his backhoe for him and his mini excavator. Now, we knew the excavator was there because we're the one that moves it. We're the last people to move the thing. Um, so I said to Adam, I said, well, I said, well, how about I go get Tom's excavator, this mini excavator, it's got a small trench bucket on it, and, uh, and how would I use that rather than the backhoe? Um, also just be easy because I could backfill it with the push plate and everything. So he thought that was a good idea, and we keep an extra set of keys to it because we deal with it so much and, and use it so much. And um, so Adam said, yeah, he said, go over there and, and track it back over. He said, he'll call Tom. Um, which he did, he called him, and Tom said, yeah, no problem, it's right over there. Now, I saw it before I left, end of last week. So, Saturday, I remember seeing it at the gas station. Um, yesterday was Tuesday, and I went to go look for it. It was not there. I walked all around, I walked around the building that's being built, the convenience store that they're building for the gas station and everything. I even, there's even a pond behind it. I looked behind that, I looked in the pond too, behind the building, just to make sure that some hooligans didn't drive it into the pond or something stupid. Um, so it was not there. So I went back over, I told Adam, and uh, he looked very surprised. So he came over, and uh, me and him walked around together, and we looked for it find it. So he called the owner, Tom, and Tom said, no, it, it's there. He said, no, it's not. So, long story short, somebody stole it. And, yeah. So, I, I ended up using a backer, but for a little bit of it. Um, I didn't finish the project, but anyway. The machine has low jack on it. If you don't know low jack, low jack, unless they've upgraded recently, it's a very, um, very old kind of style of almost like uh, like direction finding. It's something like I do when I when I do my ham radio stuff, uh, but it's in my opinion not very practical for police, especially because you have to have a special setup and all. Well, anyway, long story short, um, they located it. This is yesterday they found out it was missing, um, and or we found out it was missing, and they just located it. Uh, it's almost midnight right now, uh, and it's up in Newark, in uh, an area around around Newark Airport. Uh, now the police officer said yeah, you can't get to it with a truck, so he said he wants me to go up there. Obviously, I've been driving the whole back up. He wants me to go up there um, and uh, and actually get in it and drive it to an area where I can load it up. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep the camera rolling and. Yeah, hopefully this will be a, a, a happy ending. So, I mean, it, either way it sucks that it happened, but hopefully it'll be a happy ending. So, stay tuned.
I saw the one cop pull out with his lights on, and then he drove away, and I went down that driveway. That was the one I was supposed to go down, right? Okay, it's where all these trucks are parked and everything. Okay, you got it. And then, are you guys... Okay. Let's see. I was the one that noticed it was gone. The guy, the guy never uses it hardly ever. I mean, it's like every two weeks he, he follows up with it, you know, as a park somewhere. But hopefully they didn't disconnect the battery. It's on. Document all this. <laughs> yeah, I got the keys to it, so somewhere in here. This thing will probably move if I have to. Well, let me see.
you sign it? Yeah, right here where the X is at. You're gonna sign off on it. Okay. Where's that exit? Right here. Uh, signature garage. You know. Yep. All right, man. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Be right. safe out there.